Hello, Collective. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel, Patience with Spirit. Patience here, your psychic, intuitive, collective detective on the case. Oracle number six. I'm sorry. Oh, I said number six. Ooh, six could possibly have some relevance. Perhaps six people will be learning about today. I don't know. But I'm having so much fun. And I'm so happy to be doing this. It makes me very excited and makes me curious like a child. Peace and love to my my inner child over there. Oh, I am feeling a little fatigued. Yes, yes, someone's watching me. There's always someone watching me. I know. I'm on YouTube. <laughs> Duh. Um, I'm in a weird mood. <laughs> For sure, I'm in a weird mood. Um, I drew this card and... Oh, I wish I didn't put it back, but it was this woman curled up awkwardly asking herself, how did I get here? It was funny. Um, it just kind of feels a little funny today. Like I, I can feel, I learned this new thing actually is to detach myself because I'm always feeling people's stuff and I'm like, oh, I'm always having to be like, is this mine? What is this? And and I'm getting the hang of it, which you should too. Everybody's like this because of energy. But there's a lot of people who are having a hard time in my energy, you know. So I can feel that. <laughs> so I actually, I had a random video pop up on my TikTok of this really cool older woman who said, you want to know Claire sentience is? I'll tell you. <laughs> and it was like boom, boom, boom. And then she said, to ask to view it or sense it so you don't feel it in your body and I had this stomach ache so when she said that I was like oh I started to feel a tear in my eye which means I'm super resonant my body's like yes do that that's what I take as my body's way of saying yes um and then and then it followed by a, a need to want to cry um she said to ask to view it or to sense it to not feel it in your body. So I, at that moment I said, cause I had the stomach ache. I said, okay, uh, I would like to not feel this. Can I please view it? And I viewed someone on a couch. Judith, Judith could be significant. Um, and I, I viewed someone on a couch and, uh, they were holding their stomach like this. Like they did have a stomach ache. So that was interesting. And then I stopped feeling the stomach ache. So I was like, oh, wow, that was awesome. <laughs> so I wrote that down for show. Um, uh, so you know the drill. Time Teresa. Is Teresa, Judith, time and Walter. Must return. Must return. Um, time is fluid. We're here with my spirit guides, the Guild of the Golden Triangle. I am your host of Spirit News on Spotify, where we teach you about your non-physicalness. Um, that was a little segue of, um, information, um, about how energy works. Sometimes you can sense things in your body that, oh, sorry, spirit burps that you'll think are your own, but they're really somebody else's, especially if you are, um, energetically close to them, like a mom or, um, a father or anyone you're in a relationship with. Um, you'll definitely be able to feel that in your body and sometimes we'll take, emotional distress of other people and we'll feel it in our body and we won't even know that it's our or someone else's um, and that is a part of your non-physicalness because uh, that's your energy field um, and its attachments so you can learn more about that stuff on our podcast um, here we do more psychic development um, spirit is teaching me in real time how to develop my own psychic gift um, apparently I just found this out part of the chosen because I made it to a certain level of healing. Um, everybody has the ability to become, um, part of the 144, but I, so what we do is, um, we're, or well, I, I can't speak for everyone. Yeah. One, I can only speak for myself as one. Uh, I'm just an Oracle. I've only been doing it for like purposefully for three years, but I've been a I've been psychic my whole life and I just now the last three, almost four years going on to four years have been developing it alone by myself with, um, various teachers that come in like so many different ways. Um, and apparently I'm an Oracle and I always said I was the Oracle of Sinai and I didn't know why I would say that. 
Um, but now I know. I don't. I still don't know what that means directly. Um, I don't think I'm ready yet. But I am an oracle, so I'm ordained by God. I have been chosen by God to be trusted with the ability of psychic intuition and to be able to have permission to tap into the Akashic records, full access to, um, to. Oh my gosh, it's being blocked from my mind. They don't want me to say it. Okay. Okay, I won't say that. But definitely for the Akashic. So, um, which I've I've never done before. They're teaching me how to do it. So, <laughs> I use my ability to tap in. So, what we're doing is um, doing fun ways, fun cards. They've been having me buy um, fun game cards. Because really everything I am learning is a symbol. Like, literally... When it comes down to the language of symbolism, which is what the language of spirit is, which anyone can learn, which we highly encourage you to learn your own unique way of learning your own way of interpreting subtle energy, because that is a part of your non-physicalness. And it's immediately, yeah, spirit says immediately, like, because... The more, the longer you wait to do this or admit that it needs to be done or accept that it needs to be done, the more uncomfortable you're going to feel as we move into the new field of energy we're going into because we're going into a new place in the solar system that's closer to the sun. We talk about this in Spirit News. Um, so we're doing these reads for psychic development, but we're also doing them to be of service because people are going through a hard time right now. So we're trying to tap in the collective to get a higher perspective of what they're going through to help them see what they cannot see, to help them heal what needs to be healed. Maybe something in the 1990s, someone born in the 1990s. Maybe we're talking about some young peoples. So, yeah, you still with me? You still here? Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> Did I lose you yet? Um, so, yeah, view it. Or sense it. Don't feel it. So if you're feeling a weird thing in your body, try to ask, try to remember to ask yourself to view it or sense it first. And if you can bring awareness and outside objective awareness to a pain in your body, that's your body's way of telling you something. It could be telling you something about someone else and that's how you can detach from it. Okay. So I got, when you're in hell, what to do? <laughs> I don't know. I, that's just what I wrote down. Um, what are some ways I can dig deeper? Bringing specific info to help bring newness. Let's start at blank. Speed it up. Time is up. Time is up. Time is out. No more chances. And then as I wrote that, no more chances, the beat dropped for... Um, my trap music. So I was like, oh, confirmation. So time's up for something. No more chances. I don't know what that means. We're going to we're gonna find out. Why don't we do this? Look, I, have, I got these cards that are uh, landmarks. Spirit, should we do landmarks? Okay. So we'll start in a place. Thank you so much for, for being here with me. I'm so grateful to you. I'm having so much fun. I love this new roll, I feel like. Sockets. Sockets. Suck it to me, baby. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Remember that song? And now you're pretty fly for a white guy. Wow, what a weird song, actually. I never, I never, like, loved it, but that was back in the day, like. I don't know, I think I was in, like, ninth grade. And all the girlies say I'm pretty fly for a white guy. Huh. So maybe we're talking about Casanova or something. Some white guy who maybe thinks he's a ladies man or something. Where are we going? Where are we going today, spirit? Let me know. Where are we headed? Oh, looks like we're going to Mount Rushmore. So we're definitely in the U.S. It doesn't have to be South Dakota, but we're definitely going to be in the U.S. Christopher. Christopher, Teresa, Judith, Walter. Oh my gosh. I'm like, <laughs> if this doesn't say 
I have a small penis. I don't know what does. <laughs> oh, I'm just. Oh, now I feel bad. I'm sorry. Spirit said disagrees. Well, tell me what to think of this because this has was a lot of time taken, and I know this is like a total side piece of information, but I just don't get Mount Rushmore. Like, the Founding Fathers. Hmm. Hmm. Spirit just told me they were, um, divinely guided. At first. <laughs> Maybe that's, like, kind of what the foundation, the Founding Fathers of our reading's gonna be. Um, something in the U.S., but for gentlemen... Perhaps of varying ages. One is a leader. There's like a hierarchy. There's three main. Because uh, it's like, a, you know, the highest, the middle, low. And then there's this guy by himself. He's just over here. He's like the crony or like the henchman or like the hitman. You know, he's like... He does the dirty work, and these are, you know, this the, this person you probably never see. This person you probably never see. He talks to him, and he talks to him, and he talks to him. That's what it feels like. There's this, like, really weird, like, shabbily made mountain that is starting to... Um, have trees sprout out of it, so nature's gonna take its course. But right now, it just kind of looks like uh, like a fake fortress or something, or the like energy is the energy's rising, and this peak is rising. So maybe they're getting buried by sand and trying to make it look like a mountain, you know, <laughs> something like that. Like um, getting in over their heads, but trying to make it look like a pretty mountain or something. They're stuck between a, a rock and a hard place. <laughs> Literally a rock and a hard place. <coughs> There's, I don't know yet if this person is purposely separating from them or if they keep him separate. Um, but yeah, that's what I got so far. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, beautiful girl. Alrighty. Moving on to the archetype card so we can narrow down our so we can narrow down our descent down the astral pathways. Okay. Everybody just hold on to your seats and just enjoy the ride. If you want to close your eyes and imagine the storyline, it doesn't have to resonate to enjoy the plot. <laughs> can still learn something moral from it probably I always feel like there's a moral to the story at the end at least I hope we bring one to the forefront okay here we go to the forefront I said and it's the forefathers <laughs> all right I got Kairos Kairos Hmm. The eyes the same color as these tiles. The tiles look intricate. They look like water. It looks like something being looked after. Something being taken care of, like in a net, like something... Hmm, I see four stars, so perhaps watching four stars. Um, there's like a ornate circle around here, so someone who could be attractive or have nice things, perhaps. Um, I have bridge sideways underneath the monument 
Mm, look at this. This hand's coming out of the shitty mountain they made. Maybe someone's crawling out of this mess they made that wants to extend some kind of bridge out to you, but it's sideways, so I don't know if that means it's a dirty offer or they're, be they're hesitating on doing this. Or they want to cross over, or maybe come onto your side, or, or help you out in some way. They want to cross the bridge. They want to get over the bridge. There's some kind of bridge that's been created in this. It's been created in this intricate web of whatever this is of of tiles, of mosaic tiles, of a web, a net, a reality. Whoa. Oh, thank you so much, Spirit. I have the vision in reverse. Stephen, Donald, Kevin. John, J-O-H-N. The vision in reverse. In the desert. Oh my gosh, look at this. So I have the desert underneath. And look, there's a hand reaching out. Hmm. It's a, it kind of feels like this person really isn't in a place to be reaching out or helping anyone or, I don't know, buried. Oh, didn't I say this person, they're getting buried up to their heads? Yeah, it's like, or maybe they need a helping hand. They need a helping hand because they're being buried. They're getting buried by something. They need a helping hand. Maybe they reached out to these gentlemen for help and they, they're not helping him. They're not helping him. Something about a vision in reverse. Whatever this vision was did not come to fruition. It didn't wait and see. Wait and see. It could possibly... Pre five. five. Huh. Well, there's four heads and then an eye. Four heads and then an eye. And then look at this. If we put this eye at the top of this mountain, what does that look like? Oh, shoot. Oh, shooty shenanigans. Oh, sugar puffs. What? getting this right now look and this is the sky and the sky is blue is this God dad is that you dad what you doing what is going on here that's why you got that gold intricate around that beautiful blue eye of yours a cat eye what up dad so, jump. jump. <laughs> he's, he's like, just say it. I'm like, okay. Oh. So what I'm getting is the founding fathers were divinely guided. And they set out to branch out the rainbow philosophy across the land. But it ended up getting their vision, Harold, Harold Stephen, their vision ended up getting turned upside down and buried by dark moon. And it got eclipsed out by a dark moon. Their teachings, their teachings got buried and only half of the, not even half of the teachings got uh, to make it out into the public. What? What? 
come through spirit yes um yeah because look at this so this is coming out of the mountain right and then you have the vision upside down because they set out to they're divinely guided god's giving them the wisdom and they're being they're channelers they're they're part of the 144 they were part of their generation they were part of the 144 that was divinely guided to take us into alignment but when they went to branch out to um spread the knowledge you can see that one of the strands lost its color and so when it came over it got distorted the vision got distorted and it got buried and only a portion of its vastness was revealed to the public and it was eclipsed out by some kind of um darkness oh shit come the Tell me more. Mm. Yes, I can. I got four. I'm going to do it. So I have the seed, the comic, and the mystic. The seed, the comic, and the mystic, and the mentor. So the mentor was meant to plant the seeds. But then they made a mockery of the mysticism of the teachings. They made a mockery of it. They made it look like a clown show. And they distorted the rainbow of knowledge and made it look like it was foolish. They distorted it. The seeds that God gave the founding fathers for the 144, apparently, um, turned the teachings dark. Um... Oh my gosh, look at this. There's this eye. There's this eye here that looks like this cat upside down. And Spirit just said dark demon. So a dark demon. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Mm, okay. I guess I'll say it. I guess I'll say it. So, I'm, okay, this is what I saw in my head. They just showed me... So, okay, so you know how I said um, this strand is gray and the other ones are colorful? So somewhere along the lines of getting this channeled information, this knowledge to that they were told to spread amongst the people, one of them got tainted. Um, I want to say it's this guy. I want to say the leader... Um, and what I mean by tainted is he did something that, um, tarnished his vibratory field that made him susceptible to a dark energy attachment, which then started distorting the beliefs because he was not, loss. Um, it was a loss, spirits of loss, um, he was distorting them because he wasn't living them. And the one I'm going to say the most that has just been like the one that has run amok in our society is the lust demon. He lusted. Um, he's going overseas, so perhaps he lusted for women that he found overseas in his journeys of spreading the good word. And in his journeys he became distorted. Um, the teachings became distorted because he was allowing himself, he wasn't controlling his flesh the way that he was being asked to by God. And that made him susceptible to low energy attachments, which then proceeded to, um, make a mockery of the teachings because he was not living them credulously. credulously. Let me look that up just so everybody knows what credulously means. Cause I can't describe it what is credulously <laughs> says according to Wikipedia, craigslist. craigslist is a privately held american company operating a classified advertisements website with sections devoted to jobs housing for sale items wanted services community service gigs resumes and discussion forums 
Thank you. Appreciate it. What is credulously? Here's the definition of credulous. Having or showing too great a readiness to believe things. Mm. Right. So he, so it's George Washington, just so everybody can see it. So he was already the forefront father. He, he couldn't control his flesh basically. And it, and what it did is it made him susceptible to a negative energy attachment um, that outstayed its welcome. And it distorted the, the knowledge that God had given them to spread across the land. And because he didn't look at that or stop it or do anything to stop his lusty men, um, it overtook him and it distorted him because he was not living the way that he would need to live to sustain a connection to God to get the proper information. Now he's getting his information from, um, you, you know who, you know? So, um, the other guys were like, what's going on, man? Like, what's going on with you? You can't keep sleeping with all the the young girls and having babies and you can't keep going to the, the land spreading your seed everywhere, you know? Uh, you're supposed to be like an, a, a role model. Astral. Oh, maybe he was doing something astrally. I mean, they were channeling and conversing, getting channeled messages from God. So maybe they had some knowledge of the occult. Had, oh. Um... Yeah, they spoke, they could speak to God, they could um, channel, they could channel, that's it. They got gems from God, gems of knowledge, seeds, look, they were getting seeds of knowledge from God to spread across the land, um, arrows, yeah, to spread creation. Denials. Denials. But they denied the denials. The mask. The mask sideways. Oh, look at this. So, see, it's like uh, s it's bursting out like that. And it's bursting out like that. So, oh, so the distortion of wearing a... There were, he was wearing a mask because... He didn't want to stop. He couldn't stop. He had a sex addiction. George Washington had a sex addiction that he was in denial of. And he had knowledge of the occult and energy and something about astral. Like he would do something even in the astral realm um, because he had a dark energy attachment. Perhaps an incubus. Maybe he had an incubus. The sword, yeah, look at this. The sword, this is what ruined them. This is where, like, maybe the fall happened of um, the change of the paradigm shift, the balance, you know? The balance shift happened where uh, one of our own founding fathers, one of the leaders, was infiltrated by Deborah, maybe, um, you know, I don't know. Said someone named Deborah. Huh. Hi, mommy. Hi. Circumlocution. Circumlocution. Spirit said circumlocution. What is circumlocution? Here's the definition of circumlocution. The use of many words where fewer would do, especially in a deliberate attempt to be vague or evasive. <coughs> oh my god, I hate when people do this. I never knew what that was, but I can definitely spot it when it's happening. Like, like when you're having a conversation with someone and they're just purposely using big words, but what they actually said, if you took the big words out, doesn't make any sense and sounds really basic and stupid. And it's like, why didn't you just say it the normal way? Why are you fluffing it all up? Oh.
break. So, George Washington could have possibly just... <laughs> just had a big ego he was in his ego he had a the numbers unclear how many energy dark energy attachments he had because he was very promiscuous i'm getting he's telling me he was very promiscuous um in his time here it happened when he was overseas when he was um trying to be good but he had some um wounds that he hadn't healed from his own upbringing um so he didn't realize that it, they were related because i mean we're barely touching on emotions now it's 2024 i mean imagine what the mental health was like back then and what traumas and people's level of consciousness was back then i mean these people are ahead of their time um and they must have been playing with energy of some kind because or have awareness of divinity and God's word and all that. Um, yeah, George Washington is a promiscuous sex addict. <laughs> okay, that's what I got so far. Wow, that was fun. Oh, come through, George Washington. I didn't know. Um, you know what, George? Why don't we just lighten up the mood a little bit, okay? Why don't you just tell me in a meme how you feel about the situation now, okay? Oh, it hurts his heart. It hurts his heart that he let us down that way because he really brought that lust demon over here. He's the founding father of our lust, de our three headed lust demon that we're slaying. Oh, damn. Oh, ten headed lust demon? <laughs> oh, George, you poured you. Okay, well why don't you say a comment about how you feel? Let's we gotta let's make a meme here about it. Let's throw some humor on it, okay? Let's make a meme, spirit. <laughs> when you see your ex with the person you told they told you not to worry about. When you see your ex with the person they told you not to worry about. Oh, he got his heart broken. Oh, he must have had first love woes that made him a non-committal egomaniac. I'm not saying George Washington wasn't a nice guy. I mean, I think he was nice. I think that he had knowledge and he tried his best, but he had a, a wound a heart wound um, that didn't heal when he gained this amount of knowledge and power. And from what I'm learning, when you don't integrate your shadows or wounds, you don't, he you don't attempt to heal them or look at them while you're doing spiritual work, um, you can actually have your shadows overtake you, um, because it gets bigger and bigger. So you look at it, it like forces you to look at it. If you don't look at it deliberately, it will eventually get to a point where it, it, it takes over and it controls you, but you don't realize that because you don't understand how energy works or emotions. So this person, so this person, George, if it's George Washington, um, because he didn't heal this wound he had of, so when this, he must've got cheated on, uh, he got cheated on, maybe they cheated on him with his friend or whatever. Um, whoever it was, it broke his heart so bad. It was an ultimate betrayal, but he never healed it. So his shadow outgrew because he was, he was gaining knowledge at a fast pace and it, his notoriety was getting growing and he was doing all the right things but he except for that interesting interesting very cool very cool very cool okay um well what if george washington had a phone what? and he would make a he'd and he'd make a um a text message <laughs> he was a chicken <laughs> eyelashes. Eyelashes.
Josh is. He was wearing a chicken suit. Let's see what his status would be. What would his stat? What would George Washington's status be, Spirit? Tell us. What would his status be? Over. Okay, who spilled the beans about my hemorrhoids? <gasps> oh, George Washi. Was George Washington a gay man who had his heart broken? Mm. When you see your ex with the person they told you not to worry about, perhaps the person they loved was in the closet as well. And they couldn't release their relationship but they had to go their separate ways wow a chicken soup they're too chicken to admit who they really were they were too chicken they wore a mask look they wore a mask oh house in the white house look i cannot make it up Oh, he's like, I'm over the White House. Oh, oh look. I'm here to visit you. White House. Over White House. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Thank you for being with us, George. Oh, I'm so sorry. So, George Washington was a... He was a sex addict gay man in the closet because he couldn't express himself openly sexually so he became a sex addict trying to do the right thing but it just overtook him because he wasn't living his authentic self he wasn't being authentic to himself wow wrong oh he was being authentic to, oh he f he oh because it was wrong because back then it was wrong. I gotcha. Back then it was like evil or whatever, you know. And he's the founding father. He can't say that he's gay. Only intellectuals will understand that this post is actually really deep. Yeah. These people weren't out of a consciousness to really understand homosexuality. Energy. Love. They were very... They might have been advanced amongst his intellectuals in one way, but not in that way. So he was advanced intellectually and with intellectuals, but they were not compassionate or understanding of that fact of, of homosexuality. Wow. Poor Georgie. Georgie, do you wish you could live nowadays? Yeah. Yeah, look, he said, what up, witches? <laughs> oh, it's hard to see. There we go. What up, witches? Yes. Yeah, he'd definitely be more accepted nowadays, for sure. Give me another meme. What's another meme that you feel about this situation? <laughs> He's like, don't be like me. Live your best life. Be authentic to yourself. When you squeeze the ketchup and the bottle farts. Yeah, these people cared about what people thought too much. This person was so afraid that they'd be a clown. That they'd be, they'd be made to be a clown and so they clowned everything because they were so unhappy with themselves because they had such <laughs> they had a lot of responsibility and a lot of, you know they had to upkeep this beautiful face right here of innocence and peace but inside they're they're a closet gay bottled up bottled up like ketchup ready to explode like a fart oh <sighs> Okay, what's a comment? We have our status. What's a comment? What's a comment under the status? <sighs> is your name Butter? Because you're on a roll. Haha, ha, I'm totally ki kidding. Everyone is super worried about you. <laughs> 
so people were seeing that he, there was strange red flags about this person and possibly what they were going through, but everybody just pretended like it wasn't happening and maybe can't be here. <laughs> Yeah, I can't be here. They're just they right. they didn't know how to deal with it and they didn't know what the implications of not dealing with it were. They didn't know that it would be this at the top of the deck. Oh my god, and this this <sighs> The temples, the Masonic temple, destroyed. It got destroyed. The true teachings of the Masonic Templars got destroyed because of George Washington's um, negative energy attachment that he didn't heal because he couldn't be the homosexual man he wanted to be. So everybody could see the red flags, but nobody said anything because he's George Washington. What are you going to say? Hey, man, um, you know, is your name Butter? Because you're on a roll, but also you look like you're kind of like crazy and you're acting weird and you're very promiscuous and you're knocking up all these broads and you know, you're, you know, it's like, that's sad. I think that's really sad. Um, tell us more. What's another comment? What's another comment that the, um... <laughs> You're being a chicken about who you really were. Um, okay, who spilled the beans about my hemorrhoids? That's his status. If you had a Facebook. There you go, complaining again. Look at the bright side. So every time he would try to... Maybe he, as a way to express himself, he did complain a lot, but not really about what was truly bothering him. It was always... Uh, maybe he was a workaholic. He focused a lot on... Um, focusing on things outside of himself that were wrong, a lot of complaining, um, and, but then complaining and then, but I'll try to look at the bright side. You know, you can't just say, Ryan, Ryan could be significant. You can't just say, I have all these stressful things happening and then say, but oh, it'll be fine. No, you have to actually like, um, <laughs> You know, maybe journal, take one step at a time to knock out. You, it's about clearing a field. It's about clearing a field. If you want to think of your field like a crystal ball. Imagine this crystal ball was completely muddy and dirty and just had certain spots showing. That would tarnish the amount of your field that's that's able to be unlimited. It's limiting your field. It's making you um, sad. It, the more your field is dirty, the more low emotions you'll feel. So the way to clear the mud off the field is you have to clear it. You have to clean it off. And by cleaning it off, you have to find the dirty spots that are lingering, kernels. that the kernels, <laughs> spirit says kernels, the kernels of dirt and muck that are left behind from emotional trauma of abandonment, rejection, um, fear, fear of rejection big time with this one because evil because it, it produced evil because he feared so much what people thought that is devil energy when you let a fear control you so much to the point where you actually are not yourself at all and you have to live in that all the time that is a fear that you're living in you're living in a fear that people won't accept you the way you are and maybe they wouldn't have accepted him so he made a choice it is a choice George Washington could have chose to not be accepted by the nation or be a founding father. He couldn't be both because in his time, it wasn't accepted to be homosexual. It just was not. And he didn't know. Oh, he didn't even know that he was homosexual until he crossed seas and he met somebody. He met somebody who was homosexual too. And I don't even think that they were of the same racial um, background. Um, and so when you see your ex with the person they told you not to worry about. And, and what the thing they had to worry about was um, distance and ridicule. So that was the thing 
I told you not to worry about, but it is the thing that uh, broke his heart. Um, that made him operate from a broken place. You cannot be a leader and be broken at the same time. You have to mend those broken parts of your heart. You have to fill it up again and mend it. And it will heal. But if you don't do it, then you're going and you don't address that wound energetically. Um, it gets bigger and it gets bigger. People don't think emotions have any effect on them but it does it really really does and the longer you <laughs> deny that the longer or the more devil energy is going to consume you and you'll be operating in that energy and you'll do low acts you'll become karmic so George George Washington went from divine as a divine conduit of the 144 um, to receive information to help build a society based on um, love and compassion. Um, and he got, he got swept up. He got swooped up because he didn't heal his wounds. Music. He says he loves music. He said he loved music so much. He says he loves the music nowadays. What else? Say some more things to us, George. Give us another um, status. What's another status that you would... What's a picture you would post on your Facebook nowadays? <sighs> chilling. He'd just be chilling. This is him. This is George Washington, bro. He wants to put on a choo-choo hat and his little scarf. And he wants to have a mustache. He's like, God, I would have loved a mustache. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. That's so funny. Okay. So, what... What's the status of this picture? What's the status of this Facebook picture? George Washington visiting us. Thank you so much. Looking for a movie to watch tonight that stars Nicole Kidman in one incredibly intense sex scene. <laughs> Any recommendations? <gasps> Eyes Wide Shut. Stanley Kubrick. That's about Templars. He's telling me that that's not what what had it how it started how it originated that's just how it ended, that's just how it ended. Wow, tell me more. What's a comment? Tell us a comment for this. Look, this is so funny. Watch, I love this. Okay, look. Blithers. <laughs> blithers? What's a blither? What the hell is a blither? What's a blither? Here's the definition of blither. Talk in a long-winded way without making very much sense. I don't know if he's telling me I'm talking too much or he's not one who likes to talk a lot. I don't want to tell you how long it took me to understand this joke. <laughs> Aw, so he was like a very serious guy. He didn't really get to um, be loose and have fun. And, you know, he always had to have his hair all weird and those stuffy ties and his... I'm getting his, I'm seeing him putting on all this stuff and he hates it. He really hates putting on all those stupid clothes, he says. Wow, that's crazy. I don't want to tell you how long it took me to put all this stuff on. All the old clothes he used to put on. Hey, I know you started wearing Doc Martens and all, but you should try a little less hard to be alt. Just my to be alternative, just my word of advice. <laughs> yeah, he would often want to just wear things that were very different from other people, but he couldn't um, because everybody else was wearing these horrible clothes, you know, it's just like the fashion of the time. And he would be considered alternative. So like in his day, what he wanted to do or wear would have been considered very alternative. Wow, that's so cool. Um, let's do a meme. Let's do another meme. What would be a meme for you? 
Oh my gosh, how funny. <laughs> okay, let me see. Let me do... Okay. When you use someone else's shower and they don't give you any instructions. <laughs> when you use someone else's shower and they don't give you any instructions. When you use someone else's shower. I'm, I keep seeing the White House. He keeps showing me the White House. So maybe he felt really weird in that house. Um, maybe he wasn't as comfortable as this, like he wanted to be, or maybe in the White House, this is how he could be, um, either, or, but it says when you use someone else's shower and they don't give you any instructions. So like, yeah, he's in a weird house. He likes to do things a certain way, but he feels obligated to be in this, the White House having to act a way that wasn't really him. Aw, that's why he looks so sad here. Look. Dust. Look, he just looks so sad. Aw, he's really this guy. Dust, yeah. Now he's just a head of dust. But we're bringing it out right now. We're bringing the truth out. Let's do one more uh, meme. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Let's do a comment on the meme. I read posts like this and I make peace with my decision to continue drinking. Okay. <laughs> so he could have possibly also had a drinking problem because obviously he's hiding who he really is. And he hid who he was to the grave. Boat. Boat. To the boat. <laughs> Maybe he wanted a boat. I mean, this looks like a um, fisherman's hat, right? Maybe he wanted... His real dream was would have been, if he could do it differently, to be a fisherman. To be have his own boat, live on the boat. Maybe with his lover. In a ghost town where no one's around. Or he could be yes. free to be himself. Aw, that's so nice. Thank you so much, George Washington, for sharing your truth with us. I really enjoyed that. Sure. That was fun. Thank you. Love you back.